North Alabama is the number three team of the nation. They knock off Sacred Heart 93 to 77. There's some of the UT Chattanooga cheerleaders along for this trip. Boy, what a game this one's going to be. Lynn Tran is along with me tonight. He'll be keeping stats and bringing us up to date on exactly statistically how we're going as the Locks and the Jackets go after the Division II title. Tip control by William Gordon of the Moccasins. Gordon, an instrumental player last night. There's another guy who was instrumental in last night's win for Sacred Heart. Cook McCray opens up with the first two points in the ball game. And look for the box to press the Yellow Jackets uh, full length of the court almost the entire night. They saw against North Alabama last night that Randolph Bacon did have trouble with the press. So you can look for them to be pressing just about the entire night. Allen in the middle has a little bit of trouble with Yarbrough in there. Back out front, they go to their playmaker, Wood. Wood and McCraig are out front. The ball gets away from Wood, but saved by Connor over on the left side. Wood up front as Randolph Bacon now tries to find a weakness in the box defense. There's Allen. It's for two points and it's tied up. Joe Allen, the leading scorer on this randolph Lincoln team. Gordon all the way now by himself, picked up by Wood. William will control out front. William Gordon, one of two All-Americans on this UTC team. Gordon all the way to the bucket, putting the ball, McCray tip, no, we got a call. And a foul on Book McCray coming over the back. That'll be the first foul on McCray and the first team foul called here. Coach Ron Schumann on the left, Coach Ralph Underhill on the right. Shumate has already taken off his tie. That's how hot and how close it is here in the Springfield Arena. Lynn Trent, any statistics that might be interesting at this point in the game? Yes, Darrell. Chattanooga's turnover total is already up to 10. And last night we only turned it over eight times the whole ball game. Both teams have cooled off shooting. Chattanooga's down to 46%. Randolph making down to 44 by three now. They have led by as many as four. Gordon makes the lead one. Ten points for Gordon. 29, 28, a steal by McCray. The Golden, open for 18, went ball for Golden. Rebound slapped around. Wells, he gets it back. And McKeg will bring it up court. Randolph make it lead by one. Bunting in the ball game. That's ball bunting number four in the ball game for Randolph make it now. McKeg and Danny Connor is back in. Working baseline is Connor. Fans, fans wanted a, a call on the baseline, didn't get it. Coach Ron Schumate stood up and got a technical assess to it. Got two technicals assessed to it. One on Ron Schumate, one on Ralph Underhill. And Lynn Trent, to the best of my memory, that's the first technicals called on either Shoemate or Underhill all year. I don't remember any technicals ever being called on a this year. Of the favored role with UT Chattanooga, 37-34, Randolph Lincoln leads at the end of the first half here in Springfield, Massachusetts. Gary Miller, Kevin Wood, Wood from 12, dog by Gordon, cross court pass to Miller. No, with the ball. Rebound to Yarbrough. Yarbrough trying to get around Gordon. Gordon gets out of his way. Yarbrough needs help. We'll get it stitched. Darrell will set up. Well, watch the offense now. Golden. Dealing. Golden works. Puts it up. Good. By Wayne Golden. 12 points for Golden. Mark Franken. Emily, the 50, the 49. Steal by McCray on the inbound. Golden, McCray shot, no good. Rebound, Allen, and he's fouled by Gordon, and that is all. William Gordon has fouled out. No, that is not Times Square you're looking at. That is the part of the crowd that has come up all the way from Chattanooga, 1,500 miles to see the Marks win the national title. Get a shot at UTC Spence. There you go. All of them pointing to the crowd saying that we are folks number one. 28 seconds left in the ball game. 66 to 61. UT Chattanooga leads Randolph Macon. 28 seconds left in this season. What a season it has been for the Moccasins. A win here will give them a 27 and 5 record and the national title. They're having to get the crowd back. The 
because they're, they're looking for Cray's smile. He loves it. Bullock played the last 28 seconds of his career. First down is good. I've got to tell you something about Book. The local people here said this morning, a headline said the Marks had the book on Sacred Heart last night. They talked about McCray because of an excellent ball game. But McCray hits the second, and it said McCray was working. The reason he was called Book was because he was working on his 3.8 average. Book McCray working on his 3.8 average. Golden with a steal and is fouled as Randolph Macon tried to hurry the ball up court. Golden stole it. Fox very happy. 68 to 61. 22 seconds left in the ball game. Welge has fouled out. 13 points for Lou Welge who has fouled out and Randolph Macon has called another timeout. A very, very happy UT Chattanooga bench. And Lynn... You may have to do the last 22 seconds because the throat keeps getting lower and lower and lower and lower. Darrell, my students get me a lot about pumping for a septic just to keep on teaching, but I hate to tell you I didn't bring any. Well, there is not a timeout because there are no more timeouts. There are no more timeouts, and that is supposed to be, or is it? I don't know. No, it was, uh, I don't know what they'd call. That was, that was their fifth time out, that Carol. Was fifth. Well, they were hurrying back onto the court, and I was wondering what it was. Gary Stitch and Ricky Gill giving us the number one sign. As Wayne Golden is at the line shooting two because it was an intentional foul on Welch. Golden shooting two. Golden's first is gone. 21 points for Wayne Golden. He has got to be, folks, the most out, most valuable player in this tournament. 22 points for Wayne Golden. 20 seconds left in the ball game. 70 to 61. Wood working. Golden working against him. And Golden bumped him. Personal foul on Wayne. 17 seconds left in the ball game. 17 seconds left in this season. 70 to 61. UT Chattanooga leads Randolph Macon. Kevin Wood at the line. Folks, let me tell you again, the Mox will return home tomorrow afternoon at 445. You'll be at Lovell Field to welcome them back. Wood hits his free throw. 445 tomorrow afternoon when the Mox return home to hopefully a huge, huge throng of folks at uh, Lovell Field. But Wood tried to tried to hit the second shot hard and get the rebound off the backboard, but it didn't work. And a lane violation, the box get it. 16 seconds left, stitch to inbounds. In the golden. 16 seconds left. Golden is fouled. 42. That is Danny Connor pushing. Gonna it was Gordon's tonight's is golden. Be nice to get a shot of Bill Nash over on the on the bench for UTC. Bill, I wish you would do that. 71-62. Bill Nash trying to still used to be the voice of the box. And he knows that these guys are playing their ass game. Ricky Gill shot at the buzzer. Will not count, but it doesn't matter. UT Chattanooga has won the national small college championship. Did he grant all Kevin Seventy-one to sixty-two. And Pedlam has broken loose. The Nets will come down at Springfield. Tears will be shed, and folks are happy. What a season. What a four-year period it's been for UTC. You see guys like William Gordon, and Wayne Golden, Gary Stitch, Book McCray, Ricky Gill, finish their careers by winning the national championship. You can't ask for much less. My voice is a little cracky because I lost my voice. And also because you just can't help me get a little bit tilted. Final score. UT Chattanooga, 71. Randolph Macon, 62. The Mocs are the national small college champions.